Okay, this video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade Super Loser Production um, from development, kind of show you how this works in K2. Uh, this is not rehearsed. Um, I don't have a, a uh, sh anything to work off of, so uh, this is gonna be uncut. I will pause it at uh, certain points just not to show you the details, also just to hide some of the uh, more sensitive information such as configuration files. So. If we look at our, oh no, that's not what I want. Um, let's go project, uh, add folder to project, and we want K2. Okay. So we've got a K2 uh, right here, and this is our app folder. Um, and we've got super loser, and we've got dev and prod. So the first thing we want to do is we want to um, do a merge. We want to merge dev into production. And so what we can do is say open folder here. And we select dev and prod, right click, and I use win merge. And what I'm going to do is go through each of these files and I'm going to um, migrate uh, changes. So let's, uh, let's look at, uh, say, app grants and see what the difference is. So uh, this is all commented out. This is just the new format. No harm there. Let's just click that over and go to the next file. So I won't go through everything. Uh, app install. Uh, those should be different because one is doing production and one is doing dev. And uh, then we have a bunch of comments. Um, this is all <clears throat> stuff I've improved or just made changes in the way the comments are. So all of this can be moved over. Um, so we're just going to go to here, and we're going to use the over and down button to just make sure. So, uh, yeah, comment, that's a comment, that's just a comment, comment, uh, comment. I don't have to sync these, but it just makes it easier for the future, because otherwise I'll, I'll be looking at this every time. When you make these little aesthetic changes, um, I don't like to move to the next file automatically. App scheduler jobs. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and sync my code up. Uh, we did change the job name. And so we do have a drop scheduler job. Yep. So we're going to move that over. Yeah, this is all moving over. Um, this is a good example of item potency. So instead of like creating a patch file or whatever, I change the name of this job. So I just write a drop, execute drop scheduler job procedure. That's part of the Arc SQL um, objects that get installed. And, you know, if the job doesn't exist, it doesn't uh, do anything. So, you know, at some point in the future, I can just delete this line, but it's how I can just leave it in there also, let it run as many times as possible. And all we did there was just change the name of the job. So that uh, super loser is on the front of it. So we can identify jobs that are specific to super loser. All right. Okay. So I'm going to finish this up. Go ahead and pause it here and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay. So you can see most of the files should be exactly the same. And uh, that's pretty typical for your app. You're not going to have a lot of differences when you um, upgrade. Now, the next thing is going to be do the same thing for config. We're going to want to move merge our dev config and prod config because we might have added some new config points. Now, this is there's going to be a lot of differences here because you know the two environments are configured differently. But you do need to go through and just if you've added any points of configuration in any of your config modules, um, if any of these things have some new things in them, we're going to need to move them over here and maybe set them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do next. We're going to do open folder here, and we're just going to do a win merge. And I will go through these uh, off camera and uh, get those all set up. Okay, so we sync those two directories up. Um, now we could look at install. There's probably no change, and we could just quickly look at these. We don't hardly even have to. So. Uh, there is a test. That's fine. We don't use that in um, uh, production. Everything else is the same. Obviously, this is goes to points to prod, and this points to the dev app install. Um, and that would pretty much be it. Uh, potentially, you'd have some directories under test that you want to sync. I do not have a 
a prod directory under here. So those, those are the directories. You're basically just syncing up um, what you've been doing in production with um, what, I'm sorry, what you've been doing in dev with what you've been doing in production. Okay, so this is where things aren't going to be too pretty. This isn't the smoothest transition possible. Um, but what we need to do first is we need to take, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the back end and then we'll uh, copy Superloser Dev over to Superloser.io. And it's really important that we keep that app ID the same because my hosting provider's uh, domain for www.superloser.io goes to not an app name or anything, but to that um, app ID of 1000. So if we wanted to be nice, we'd come in here and we would say uh, shared components, application definition attributes, and we would make this unavailable and we'd have a nice pretty message. Um, that would be... Uh, let's see, we want a status, we're going to say, uh, you know, unavailable, we could do unavailable, redirect to some landing page, we're just going to do uh, unavailable, apply changes, and we're going to go back, and we're going to make a copy of the app, so we want a backup, so this is our backup, let's just say copy this application, uh, we'll call it 1002, and what I do is just add the date. And we say next. Now, I don't need to copy all the tables and all that. We're not, we're not copying all of that. Um, this is just our front end code. And everything else on the back end is in K2 uh, folders. And so, um, got our backup. And so what we're going to do now is um, we could delete this, um, but I won't do that yet. I'm going to go upgrade uh, the background code. So we're going to go to open, K2, install. I want to do super loser, and I want production. Eh, that always does that. Okay. So... Normally you could run all this at once. I'm going to run it one at a time because it's been a while since I upgraded. Sometimes we're going to run into an issue that we we hose something and didn't do it in the uh, didn't include what we should have, or we've done something out of order in Dev and it works there, but it's not going to work here. So we're going to first upgrade. This just upgrades K2 and puts back basically the demo code on the back end. Uh, we're going to run it into Super Loser Prod. We want to make sure we got Prod here and we're connected to prod. That's one of the risks you run by doing everything in the same database. But um, when you, you are paying for a host, you know, uh, I don't want to pay for multiple databases for this kind of thing. <clears throat> if it was a customer I was working for, we'd have uh, some segregation of, uh, of databases and, and uh, things like that. So there was no chance that we could host things. Um, so that looks really good so far. That means it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing, and it's doing a lot. I always like to roll back through it and make sure there are no errors. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I really like it when it runs with no errors. So now we're going to run the Super Loser app code, and we're going to upgrade that. This would be really cool if I don't get any errors, because there, yeah, there's an error. It's kind of rare that I don't. Okay, let's see. On login... Um, hmm. Character string. I'll pause this, figure out the errors, and come right back. Okay, so uh, one of the, val the variables I had uh, put, modified when I was doing the diff uh, in K2 config was uh, the value was longer than what I had defined, so I just had to, you know, basically increase the size of the variable in there. It was really easy. And now everything is done. We can run fixed identity sequences, although that's not going to be an issue because we haven't imported any data. Commit our changes uh, just to make sure that everything is there. And at this point, um, in theory, this is upgraded. Now all we need to do is delete this. We have our backup. So we're going to go into superloser.io1000. And we are going to delete this application. Confirm that delete. And we're ready to copy 
this application to application 1000 and it needs to be just superloser.io next we don't need to copy supporting objects because this doesn't really know about everything on the back end that's I, I like it this way uh, I like to manage things um, and just worry about this um, um, just worry about this, not worry about whether it does what it needs to do at the back end. So now, once we have it up and running, we've got to go into application attributes, and we need to change the app alias to SLPRD. Um, and we need to, I think that is, there's something else we need to change. Uh, I'm going to apply changes. I think we need to go to security, security. And our parsing schema needs to be SLPRD. And if you forget these, mm, not going to work right. So um, ideally, you have a checklist when you're doing this. Um, those are like the only two things that need to be changed. And we should be able to access this now. And let's just see. I think we're upgraded, if I can remember. Going to go to superloser.io. OK. And it's thinking about it. I'm going to uh, log in. And I need to fix this. It's still caching. Like, this is the user I normally log in with. And it should uh, keep that in a, as a cookie and remember. And it doesn't. OK, so there's my wait history. Um, what was I today? I was like, uh, ooh, it was good. It was like 199 points. Something. I have to look at dev. Um, I can go to. Built on uh, superloser. Built on Apex, and login here. That's this login. And what did we log? What were we today? One ninety nine point four. So we're gonna put one ninety nine point four in. Hit return. I think it's working. This looks pretty good. So uh, production is up and running now there's a new feature here uh, i'm going to cover it in a separate video but uh, just to make sure this is working if we go to settings i know and we go to advanced yes we should see the number of days used for moving averages and comparisons i'm going to change that to uh, four because that is a better value and it actually recalculates all my history over a year's worth of history it doesn't take long probably should do that in the background but it runs pretty fast and um, we're all set okay so that is how you upgrade or how one way to upgrade an application uh, using k2 so if we just go back through it you basically merge your changes from your dev folders into whatever environment uh, that you want to uh, promote to and then run install and um, some of the merges are fairly easy and uh, are almost always entirely like like there's one difference in the, in in uh, in here. There's not much, I think. I'm sorry. This is config. There's a lot of differences in config in the app folder. There's there's almost no differences between these, but in the um, config folder, there's going to be a lot of differences. So um, it would be hard to automate. Um, but you could do that through uh, variables and uh, and just have variables that kind of handle that and have uh, in your uh, install somehow source those variables uh, from the proper install. Um, okay, I think that's all I got. Thanks.